So in the previous video, I have shown how to use a serial monitor in the Arduino IDE and the Tinkercad. Uh, so for those who wants to use the Proteus software for simulating Arduino and using serial monitor in the Proteus, so this video is for you. So watch it. So you might have already constructed these circuits here in the Proteus. Uh, so now we can continue based on this uh, circuit here. Where if you want to show the serial monitor from this circuit, you can just go to this part here. Yeah? This part here. So just click here, which is the instruments, tools. So there are a lot of in instruments shown here. So choose the virtual terminal. So when you choose a virtual terminal and you bring it into the Proteus, so it will come out this virtual terminal for you to run the serial monitor. So now you can connect this RS to the TS of the of your Arduino, just like that. And this RS from Arduino is connected to the TS. Yeah, why? TS is uh, a acronym for the transmitter so this part here is transmit data to the arduino and arduino will receive the data at the receiver that's why it is rs and then the arduino is, will uh, uh, transmit the data to this uh, this virtual terminal here uh, which will be received by this virtual terminal which is the uh, RS ports here so that's why the RS will be connected to the TS and the RS from the Arduino will be connected to the TS so that's it that is the only circuits that's it. that is the only uh, instruments that you need to put in this simulation in this protein circuit but let's say if you want to see whether the the voltage that you use is correct for example or you want to measure what is really the value at this A5 so you can add this DC voltmeter if you want at this pass here so just connect it uh, here and connect it here so basically it when you run the simulation later it will display the actual voltage here so now let's let's open the Arduino coding that you have done previously uh, so we have this coding here before this i show how you can uh, copy and paste the hash file into the produce but there is one more uh, ways for you to simulate this coding into the produce uh, which is you can also go to the sketch and then choose export compile binary so which means that it will produce this hash file and then you can just load the hash file into produce without the need to copy and paste because some of you might be might feeling difficult to uh, highlight the hash file and then copy and paste it in the uh, produce and that's why i show this one here so just uh, click there and then it will directly compile your sketch if you don't if you have saved the if you don't save this uh coding yet it will ask you to save this coding but since i have already saved this coding it will directly compile and if there is nothing no problem it will directly shows done compiling and then you can come back to this uh proteus here just double click on your arduino and go search for the uh for for the hash file that you generate just now so let for me i save it in here so there are two different hash file here so we choose this first one the standard dot hash so just open it just like before basically you just uh, load it in the program file uh, but before this i copy and paste but now we can just directly select the hash file and then click ok and when you click OK, basically everything is already there. So just click play. And when you click play, so it will show these values at the virtual terminal. So now these values here 
is the values of the potentiometer so when we uh, reduce the value of the potentiometer here as you can see uh, the value for the potentiometer will be dropping slowly and until it reaches zero and when we increase it uh, slowly so as you can see the value in the virtual terminal will also increase until it reach the maximum value which is 123 similar like in the Arduino IDE in the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE or in the serial monitor in the Tinkercad so this is how you use this produce uh, to see the values from the serial monitor as simple as that uh, so basically it's just this one steps only that you need to put this terminal here this instruments here which we call the virtual terminal that's it uh, other than that nothing else that you need to add although i add voltmeter here but actually this is just to see the value of the voltage at this part here and how the voltage is changing that's it so basically if you don't put the voltmeter there it's also okay what we really need is just this virtual terminal only so hope that is helpful for those who use produce uh, and again as usual if you have any problems just ask me uh, or just leave a comment down below and if you like this video as usual click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and that's it stay safe stay curious and stay joyful i'm ikhwan may god bless you assalamualaikum